Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about what are genes and chromosomes, one of the most, two actually, of the most basic definitions in the vast subject of genetics. And so being part of genetics, they're actually really related to DNA. They're all um, containments of DNA, so to speak. And so as we start off with genes, I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture of DNA. And then I'm going to show you how DNA is put into genes and how we're going to later learn how genes are put into chromosomes. And then I'm going to relate that all into a definition of both genes and chromosomes. So let's go ahead and get started here with the picture of DNA, as I mentioned before. So we know DNA is like a long string of code that configures different physical traits of our body. So genes are actually those separate physical traits, and we have so many physical traits in our body, so there are thousands of genes. And basically, these thousands of genes are all sections of DNA. A gene is basically just a section of the long string of DNA. And these tiny sections configure separate physical traits in our body. So that's pretty much what a gene is, and so that actually leads in to our definition of a gene here, which is DNA structures that contain all the instructions to pass on traits during heredity. So these different physical traits are also configured to be able to be passed on during heredity, which is actually part of DNA itself, part of the definition of DNA itself. So as you can see, genes and DNA are just very similar, except that genes are specific parts of DNA. And so another thing we should know about genes is that they come in pairs. Genes come in two, two different pairs known as alleles. And we're going to learn more about alleles as we go into our next slide here, which is all about where are genes located. And genes are located in these structures here known as chromosomes. So chromosomes, just like genes, come in pairs. So to break down the pair of this is a pair. This is a chromosome pair. So this is actually one chromosome, that one side. And then this is that chromosome's corresponding pair. So genes are located on pairs of chromosomes. And how it works is one part of a gene is going to be located on one side or on one pair of the chromosome. And then the other corresponding pair of that gene will be located in the other part of the chromosome, in the other pair. And these two parts of the gene, okay, let me use a different color so you can distinguish. So these two pairs of the genes are, are what we call the alleles. So let me continue it on here. Alleles. It's this and this as the alleles, and the genes are overall located on pairs of chromosomes. So, just a, a little bit of a statistic here, there are 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of our cells, and that leads into 23 pairs. So that means that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes, and on these pairs of chromosomes, there are thousands of genes, all configuring different physical traits of our body. So now we can actually lead into the definition of chromosomes, which is quite simple, we already kind of said it, and that is arrangements of genes, which in turn are pretty much arrangements of also DNA, because genes are structures, oh, I spelled DNA wrong, because genes are structures of DNA. And so all of this, the chromosomes, the genes, and the DNA, is all located in the nucleus of our cell. So we have chromosomes floating around here, which we know have, see, there are going to be 23 pairs of chromosomes, and within those, there will be thousands of genes, all containing DNA. So that's pretty much the definition of both genes and chromosomes, and as you can see, they all tie back in to that long code, that long DNA. So that's, um, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this was helpful, and thank you for watching.